All right, here's what I got going on. Uh, I bought this 59 ragtop. Uh, I won't go into the huge details on that because that's not what this video is about, but just it uh, didn't have a motor in, in it, but uh, it did come with two motors. Neither of them are 36 horsepower, but um, one of them, he said ran, you know how that goes though, but I think it's, I think I can get this thing to run. It's a, I believe it's out of a 66, so it's a 1300. I've been getting this thing kind of, took me a while to get the um, transmission piece to hook up the starter. This motor also came with the car. And it's a 1200, and he said it was, he said it was seized up, but uh, it was actually just uh, full of a uh, mouse nest and dead mice carcasses. Uh, yeah, I don't even want to know what's going on with this one quite yet. I'm gonna drain the oil now put some fresh oil in it and then I'm gonna test uh, oil pressure I guess I'll throw some gas in it and see what it can do alright so I had to give up last night I was not getting any spark and it turns out uh, the points were uh, set open the entire time and the timing was off so I believe I got the points gapped correctly and I timed it so I think I might be ready to fire this thing up alright I moved it out of the garage um, let's see what else do I need bring my test light battery charger got a few things to hook up here So what I got, I guess I'll show people what my setup is here, so it might help them or not because don't listen to me. But what I got here is a, uh, I just grounded it to the, uh, oh, ha, I was doing that wrong. Grounding it to the engine stand. And then I got the positive. And that's going up to the starter. Got this push button. One wire going to the starter, the other jump into the solenoid. And then I got a hot wire coming off it goes to the coil on the positive side put my distributor cap back on maybe there we go hard to do one-handed well I'm gonna set you down and get it all set up and then we're gonna fire this thing up all right my first try Thank <laughs> you. 
I think I need a beer. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Besides the singed eyebrows and carbon monoxide poisoning, um, I kind of blew a ton of smoke into the garage and into the house, and uh, I don't think the wife is all that happy. So um, I think I'll try again tomorrow. Uh, but uh, she runs. So cheers, all. Alright guys, uh, this is day three of trying to get this thing started. Uh, day two was a complete failure. I was chasing all kinds of problems. Uh, on day one, found out that my rotor and the distributor actually busted into pieces. So that was probably my main problem. Uh, I fixed that, but then I found out that one of the wires uh, was bad. Cylinder one wasn't getting a... Uh, spark so I replaced the spark plug wires got spark plugs while I was at it I completely tore apart the uh, carburetor and cleaned it as the best I could um, I adjusted the valves and we'll see how it goes
not too bad. Uh, my battery was uh, dying on me, so that's all I could really show. But uh, I think I need, might need a new carburetor, but uh, this thing can run. So I'm pretty happy with that. All right, later guys.